Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's Drew Tube. I'm back at you again with another video. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. They fail miserably at their attempts to overthrow you. Too bad they can't put that towards their own good. Someone should be investing into themselves instead of trying to stop others. It would do them a lot of good instead of a lot of harm. People don't get anywhere focusing on other people. The people who are acting a fool and being weird to other people, they keep doing the same thing. They don't get anywhere. They don't see anything new. They don't have any new experiences. They just stay where they are. They're like Stoop Kid in Hey Arnold. They never leave the stoop. They never venture off into anything new. Their attitude and their treatment towards others keeps them stuck. So if this person is going to stay stuck, that means they're going to stay stuck financially, stay stuck mentally, spiritually, and there's no room for growth. There's no room for improvement. A person that wants to improve isn't going to have time to be playing. All right, people who have time to want to see you fail, they are playing around with life. They're not putting that good into anything good for themselves. If they were to put that good into something good for themselves, they could possibly get somewhere. But most of these kinds of people, they don't get anywhere. They stay doing the same thing time after time after time. And you're going to be moving forward. There's going to be good things happening to you. There's going to be good things happening for you. And you're going to continue to see that this person's life hasn't changed. And as sad as, as it is, it's pretty much what they want. It's what they get. It's what they deserve. It's what they focused on. And what they focused on just happened to get them exactly where they were supposed to end up. Nowhere. So the fact that they ended up nowhere is their fault. And you have nothing to do with that. You're going to be flossed up, bossed up, dipped in butter, shining, sheening. All right. Gleaming. And this person is going to still be scheming. You're not supposed to still be scheming. You're supposed to stay scheming, though. All right. Rick Ross, he said, I told y'all stay scheming. Rick Ross stayed scheming. All right. Rick Ross is going to win. If I was Rick Ross right now, I would be even, even though that scuffle or that little fight happened, I'd be dropping track after track after track. Rick Ross should have never even went to Canada. He should have just stayed in the studio and kept bodying Drake with, with, with hits. All right, if, if Kendrick Lamar started that and finished him off, Kendrick Lamar and, and Rick Ross ain't beefing. If I was if I was Rick Ross, I would have even tried to get up with the little homie, with Kendrick. If I was Rick Ross, man, Rick Ross should have got with Kendrick Lamar because that would have, Rick Ross would have pulled a Jay-Z. All right, Jay-Z, Drake is trying to be Jay-Z, but he can't. Jay-Z is, an, Jay -Z is an American black, so... There's a lot of things that Jay-Z might be able to do that Drake can't. But if Drake stayed in his lane, nobody would have even cared where he was from. It, it, it all depends on where what your focus is on. So if he was focused on the music, he wouldn't have failed miserably. If your haters weren't focused on you, they wouldn't be failing miserably. But Rick Ross, he kind of took an L because he went to Canada. He retaliated. He said, you know what? We're going to go out here. We're going to play. They not like us. We're going to do what we need to do to catch this W. All he had to do was stay in the studio and possibly drop a track with Kendrick Lamar. And Rick Ross would have been straight. He would have catapulted himself into another uh, period of him coming out, pushing his music. And, oh, you know, he would have been able to skyrocket. And if he catches the tailwind of this, he still can. All right? So... With that being said, if Rick Ross just focused and kept dropping track after track after track after track, he would have been all right. But he didn't focus, all right? And people who don't focus, they fail miserably. That's why Drake right now is failing miserably because 
he keeps trying to attempt to undermine and underthrow other people. But Drake can't attach himself to other people like Hove can. But if Rick Ross attached himself to Kendrick and dropped that record instead of getting bent out of shape at people wanting him to fail, he would have been all right. So let them fail with their attempts, all right? They can't overthrow you if you don't let them, all right? You can't put the bad things into your head that they do and allow them to eat at you. If you put it in your mind, if you keep your attention on that, like Rick Ross, he kept his attention on them trying to make him fail, them coming at him, them dissing him. He let it eat him alive to the point to where he went to Canada instead of to the studio. All right, he should have let them fail miserably. He should have let Drake fail miserably instead of joining him in failure. All right, if they're going to try to overthrow you, they're just going to lose. If, if they're not going to win, if they're not going to choose to win, if they're not going to choose to succeed, they're going to lose. Anyone that wants to fail is going to fail. It's like you have to want to fail to be a failure. Just because you fail doesn't mean you give up. But people who fail miserably are those who gave up. All right? Anybody trying to overthrow you is going to be unsuccessful. And I'm going to tell you why. All right? Those who are in the way of God's plans for you and your destiny are setting themselves up to feel God's wrath. And... Once God's wrath is felt, all right, once they get this, this beating, once they, once they get these, these hands and feet from the Lord, it's a wrap for them. They're going to realize that they should have never came up against you, and they're going to continue to fail miserably. You are touched by God with your skills, with how you treat people, with how you look at life, and those that hate you those that come up against you, all right, those that try to overthrow you are going to always fail. It's just like Pharaoh. Pharaoh had his heart hardened. He tried to stop uh, he tried to stop Moses from setting his people free and they failed miserably. They tried to uh, 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 the Pharaoh tried to overthrow God and keep Moses and the Israelites un in bondage. And you can't overthrow righteousness. You can't overthrow God. And they're basically trying to overthrow God. They're not trying to overthrow you. They're trying to overthrow God. And that's why they're going to fail miserably. All those attempts should have been put towards something that would have benefited them, towards something that would have taught them a new skill. God is allowing them to waste their time and to waste their life at a failed attempt to keep trying to prevent you from reaching the level that God sees you on. God sees you way better than anything, anyone you could ever imagine. God sees us better than how we see ourselves. So if we could see ourselves the way God sees us, we're on the right track. These people have no vision, all right? They don't even see themselves winning. They don't see themselves how God sees them. They just see darkness and they chose not to change their mind. They chose to be a wallflower and to accept defeat. That's what a wallflower is, someone that accepts defeat. And when something bad happens, that's it for them. There's no getting over it. There's no uh, moving forward. There's no getting past it. There's no getting over it. This is why this person is failing. This is why this person is not getting anywhere. They haven't taken the time to do anything for their own good except for try to fulfill their need of destroying others. they rather get a good laugh at seeing you lose. they rather have fun with getting in the way of somebody else, all right? And this is why they don't have anything put together for themselves, no skills developed, not working towards anything in life. They're just pretty much low vibrational down to the bottom of the barrel, bottom of the basket, bottom feeders are their bottom feeders, right? They're the lowest of the low, all right? 
but the Lord, the Most High, is about to crack their crab. All right, he about, he about to crack their he about to crack their shell wide open. Overthrowing you is trying to take place of God in your life, and what whatever makes them think they're going to be able to do that, whether it's narcissism, whether it's uh, the Satanism, whatever it is that they got going on, whatever it is, um, schism they have going on, it's uh, a, it's just an attempt for them to try to see you as low as they are. And don't don't let them bring you there, because if you do, then you're going to be right there with them, miserable. You're going to be right there with them failing. There's nothing more that a failure likes is to have other people in their presence that are failing with them. Most people who fail, if they can get you to fail with them, they'll be best friends. And this is why I always say you have to be careful who your friends are. Some people will only be your friend because of your circumstance. Some people will only be your friend because you're not doing any better than they are. That's not the type of friends you want. That's why you always want friends that are doing better than you. Because it's going to motivate you to want to do better for yourself. And that's why it's good to have the right people around you for the right reasons. Only quality people. And some people will go as far as to say only top quality people. But the, the people that don't change, the people that remain the same, the people that stay stuck in their ways, those are the people who haven't put anything into their own good. And if your enemies... If the people who were trying to sabotage you, if those who wanted to get in your way, they could change their life for the better. They, they, could, they could be like someone that they admire. But a lot of people take positivity as a joke. A lot of people take success for a joke. They don't see it as something that's real. They don't see it as a possibility for themselves. They see dreaming as, as something for children, something for kids, something for possibly even girls you know like oh man that's some little girl stuff man you know like some people may see dreams as as something that is like a fairy tale but if, if you believe that you can be what you want you're in the top five percent of all the successful people in the world because the top five percent of the people in the world that are successful are only the top five percent because that's what they told themselves that's what they believed they should be that's where they knew they were going to be. No matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what you go through, you have to have a knowing that you're going to be successful and things are going to work out. So when people are attempting to overthrow you, know they're going to fail. Know that even if they're successful at getting in your way or stopping you, it's only a setback. And a setback is a setup for a comeback. They're still going to fail. Anybody that does not do good by you is going to fail. Just just let that sink in. Anyone that comes up against you is going to fail. Anyone that tries to stop you is going to fail. Anyone that gets in your way is going to fail. People at your job talking behind your back are going to fail. People that want to set you up to lose and that don't want you to see anything good happening to you are going to fail. The people that are gang stalking you, all those people, they're going to fail. They think they, they're getting paid. They're living it up, harassing people for a check. God's going God's gonna to come down, crushing on them like a ton of bricks. They're going to fail. Head knocked clean off their shoulders, decapitated. All right? They can't begin to understand just how much you're loved by God, by the Most High. All right? So they don't understand that when they come up against you, it's going to, to cause them to, to be losing in life. And just in general, they're not putting any time into themselves. Some people have made a career out of trying to stop other people from living their dream. All right, some people make a career out of trying to stop you from living your dream. They don't know how to put good good labor into their life. They, they, don't, they don't know what good labor is. They don't know what hard work is. They don't know what being too tired is. And, and still pushing forward is they don't know what what having a work ethic is they know that life isn't isn't something to be taken too serious and they play around they think life is a game that's why you and them will never mix you and them will never see eye to eye and you and them will always bump heads and they will never understand how hard you work or what it is 
to be like yourself. And this is why they're jealous toward you and want to overthrow you. They want to bring you back down to the level of being a kid. They want you to not care about your life. They want a friend. They want someone to be miserable with them. They want someone to go through a, a crappy life that they created for themselves with them. All right. They usually pick out people who they know have a promising future. People who don't pay them any mind that are trying to win and are going to do whatever it takes to win. If they were able to put that much time and energy that they use to try to stop you into themselves, they'll probably be more successful than you, honestly, if you think about it. But they wouldn't even they wouldn't even try. It's it's easier for them to stop others. They they have a false sense of satisfaction that they get from trying to get in the way of of what you do. All right, they they get a, 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 a they get a kick out of that. They get joy out of that, but they'll never have the full understanding of how it feels to complete something. You know how it feels to get things done. They know how it feels to not take things serious and to take life as a joke. People like that are really hurt, and that's why they're always out to try to overthrow someone. Hurt people hurt people. You know how painful your life has to be for you to laugh at the failures of somebody else for you to try to overthrow someone else you have to be bottom of the barrel lowest of the low you, you have to be dealing with so much hurt that you can't even let it go you have to take it out on other people i mean they, like there are people that know how to handle what they go through and they become really great as a result of it and if other people aren't going to choose that and they're going to take the route where they have to try to make someone fail, they're going to be the ones to fail. Whatever you try to see or force on somebody's life and it's negative, that's what you're going to get. You want to see me fail? Now God's going to bring failure to your life. You wasted, they, they, they wasted too much time on watching you and studying you and making sure you didn't fulfill your your goal making sure you didn't complete your mission that that was a waste of time for them because god's going to help you find a way you're always going to thrive you're always going to survive you're always going to be able to provide for yourself you're always going to have everything you need there's plenty of people out there for whatever reason that don't want to see you do as good as them and that's that's what it is they don't want to see you do as good as them. But if they had enough energy to put into themselves, they wouldn't even be focused on you and how good you're doing anyway. But it's something that they're not able to do in their mind. All right. They don't know about success. They love you so much that they hate you. And when they watch you and they can't make the connection that you're someone that they want to be or you're doing so good that they want to do good for themselves if they don't know how to do good for themselves you better get the hell away from them because i guarantee you they're going to try to do good at making you do bad and you can't you you can't afford that people have things that they want to do and they take that very seriously because they know it's like a child prodigy certain parents can see that their child is gifted so they take that child to piano lessons. They take that child to violin lessons. They take that child to uh, oboe lessons. You know, whatever you may be talented at, if a parent sees it and spots it and they see room for growth, something that you could feed yourself off of, they'll probably push you in that direction. They're not going to waste time with that. So that way you fail miserably and you can't put all that effort to your own good. It feels good to, to be able to take your time and, and put it to your own benefit. But that's something that they're never going to understand. That's something that they're never going to be able to conceive because they rather take the easy way out. And most people are killing themselves by trying to take shortcuts and making their dream to stop somebody else's. All right. It's, it's too bad that they can't invest in themselves. They may not be able to 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 learn as, as good as, as others, but that's not a key factor in why they shouldn't be successful. There's plenty of people with little education 
There's plenty of people who never thought they could, but they still did. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to read five books a day. You don't have to have five degrees. But what you do have to, to learn is something that can help you get to a place in life where you feel comfortable. And whatever that is that you have to learn, that might be all you have to learn. And then you might, who knows, you might be able to have some free time where you could grow and venture off into other things. But at, at least you won't be failing miserably and trying to overthrow others. These people think that if they stop you, that's going to make them feel better about themselves. And it's really not. They're going to be more miserable than ever, as always, and looking for somebody else to try to stop. So, you know, let, let miserable people be miserable. And we're not going to take anything that they do personal. We're going to pretend that they don't even exist and what they did didn't even affect us. And we're going to con we're going to continue to work. Because that's what's going to piss them off. If you let them, if, if you take time to focus on what they did, that's them stopping you. If you take time to allow what they did to hold you back or to disrupt your creative process, that's them stopping you. That means they didn't fail. That means they succeeded in making you fail. You want them to fail at trying to make you fail. Don't let them succeed in trying to make you fail. And that's a whole nother video. Don't let them succeed in trying to make you fail. They already lost. They, they may not be able to accept it, but you should. When, when, if you see somebody doing so bad that they're trying to overthrow you and they're taking their time out of their precious life to get in your way, that person's already a failure. That person already lost. There's no hope for them. So you, you just have to let this person operate how they operate. You, you think God is going to allow them to get in your way? I wouldn't stress over it. I like moments like that. We have to learn how to pray, how to let go, how to how to just let go and let God. Because whatever stress that we're meant to endure from that, who knows? We, it may be a lesson for us to learn. It may be a check for us to earn. It may be some creativity for us that that we get to express as a result of this person. You never know why God's bringing people into your life. So we, the best thing we could do is not get mad. But it takes it takes time to be able to not get mad because not getting mad allows you to think clear and it allows you to use your head a lot better than if you were upset and distracted and mad over a fool. So that would just be two fools. And you don't want no, you don't want to give the power to a fool to have over you to make to, to be able to push your buttons and make you act out how they want. All right, so it's their fault that they're not putting all that time and energy and effort into themselves. And it's going to be their fault while they're still on Skid Row. It's going to be their fault while they're still living a life of poverty. It's going to be their fault while they're still 5,000 pounds. It's going to be their fault why they're not uh, taking care of their health. It's going to be their fault while they, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Everybody has things that they want to do, but some people neglect them. And those are the most unhappiest people. And you don't want to join them. So don't neglect what you do. Don't neglect uh, your you don't don't neglect your purpose. Right. They, they've attempted to try to make you fail. But guess what? Your attempts to succeed should by far outweigh their attempts to make you fail and out by far outweigh the strength that they have. All right. The strength in them is is way different than the strength in you. All right. There's no more strength in any man than there is anyone else. So y'all are evenly matched, evenly yoked, probably a little bit more than you because you're focused and you have something that you want to be. And this isn't your first rodeo fighting off, fighting off a, a energy vampire or a, a dream killer. All right. So this person is going to be upset. All right. They're probably going to to be sad. They're probably going to be a very toxic, negative person because if they're trying to get you to fail, that means it's already over for them. They already see uh, their life as done. They're just waiting to die at that point, and that's sad. So the best thing you can do is pray for this person and find it within your own self to stay as positive as you can. So that way you can look at the situation for what it is. Somebody that's sad, somebody that's hurt, somebody that's given up, and somebody that has revoked their own chance. All right, they, they, they revoked their own chance. They're not giving themselves a chance at life anymore. Some people are some people 
are buried. Some people die at 25 and aren't buried until they're 75. Benjamin Franklin said that. Some people die at 25 and aren't buried until they're 75. Don't let that some people be you. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. And don't you dare forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.